Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. So my name is Arfan and today we are going to set up ESLint and Prettier for a React and TypeScript project. So first of all, uh, what is ESLint? So ESLint is the tool that you will use to find and fix your problems in your JavaScript code. So it will help you to write better JavaScript code. So you can read about ESLint uh, here in their website. And beside we have our airbnb javascript style guide so airbnb has this uh, nice javascript style guide that is really good and popular and we are going to use this style guide with eslint so with eslint we will use all these style guide i mean airbnb javascript style guides and the last thing we will set up prettier so prettier is a code formatter so sometimes we have messy codes and we often need to format our code so prettier will do the job and you do not need to worry whenever you will have your code and you will just save the file it will format your code automatically so that's all uh, for this video i hope you will like this and let's jump into it so i already wrote this blog post about eslint and prettier setup with react.js and TypeScript, as you can see so this is what we are going to follow in this video and if you are interested in this article i will link it in the description and you can just go ahead and follow this um, blog post by yourself so in the blog post first of all we can see first of all we have some um, introduction about these tools so eslint which will allow you to uh, lint your javascript code and for that you have a lots of uh, role sets in the eslint that will help you to do this and on the other hand we have our airbnb so airbnb provides a popular style guide eslint style guide that will help you to write clean and consistent code so eslint is the main thing and we will use the airbnb rules for with eslint so that's what we are going to do and beside these two we have our prettier which will allow you to format your code and that's all and let's actually get started so first of all we need to create our project and to create a project you can use anything next.js or any other frameworks i will use vite here so just create a react and typescript project so let's actually use vite uh, since we are um, using vite here in the article so first of all i will create a project with vite.js so in my terminal i will just put this and it will create the vite project so i will create the project in the current folder so that's why i will not put any kind of name here and i will use react here and i will use typescript as well so that's all so as you can see we have already our, our project files here so now what i need to do is i need to install them i mean all the packages so here in our package.json you can see uh, we already have our eslint so whenever you will create a project with vite.js it will already give you the eslint and we can see our eslint rc file here which is the configuration file for your eslint so we already have that in your uh, whenever you create a project with vite.js but we will not use this um, file here you can see so we will not use that and uh, we will configure that manually so for that what you need to do so if you do not have uh, eslint already installed so in my case i already have in eslint installed here you can see so if you do not have eslint installed first of all you need to do is you need to install the eslint so if you do not have just copy this command and you can just install it with this so i already installed that so and after that once you have installed eslint after that you can actually run this command to create the configuration file so whenever you will run this command it will ask you some question about your project so first of all how would you like to use eslint so i will use this one i mean to check the syntax and find problems so after that um what type of module does your project use so i in my project i'm using import export so i will use that and after that i will use react.js and after that i will also use typescript so yes for that and the project code will run on browser so select browser here and after that i want my configuration file in the javascript so yes and after that these are the packages that needs to be installed so i want to install them yes 
and I want to use npm to install that. So that's all. So it will ask this question. You need to answer this question based on your project and it will recreate a ESLint RC file for you. So this file now it is recreated based on our question answers. So after that, we need to configure our um, this file based on what we want. So after that, in the step two, we need to add our Airbnb ESLint style guide. So for that, let's come here and we need to install this PR depths. So come here in your terminal and install this. So once you are done installing ESLint config Airbnb, after that, you need to extend your configuration. So in the ESLint RC file, you can see I'm extending these things. So I can actually remove this. Now, instead of that, I need to uh, extend Airbnb and Airbnb hooks. So just paste this. So now you can see I'm already seeing some error here. So uh, it's already getting started. So let's actually follow the steps here. So once we are done this part, after that we need to add the ESLint config Airbnb TypeScript. So which will uh, add support, add TypeScript support for our Airbnb style guide. So to install ESLint config Airbnb TypeScript, uh, you need to actually copy this. So copy this and paste this. So here you can see uh, this two is using actually version seven. So you need to actually make sure that uh, it's using the latest recommended versions and for that you can actually click here and i mean i just noted these things here so you can just click here and it will open up in the exact uh, place that we are looking for in the documentation you can see so right now uh, at the time i am creating this video uh, they are actually um, recommending seven and if you are actually just uh, if you are installing these things in the future just come here and see what are the versions they are recommending if they are recommending any other latest version just copy this command and paste it here and it is the same command and it will install all the packages that is necessary for ESN config airbnb type script so once we are done with that after that we need to actually uh, extend airbnb type script and here so you can see the order is actually um, matters so here it will be after the airbnb so after the airbnb we can just paste it and after that it will be fine and if you are using a non-react uh, project you can actually use airbnb typescript base and i also added this thing in the comment and also here uh, before when we extended our airbnb and airbnb hooks if you are using non-react project you can use ervnb base so these two things you can do if you are using non-react projects so after that we need to change a little bit in the parser options so in your uh, eslint rc file uh, the parser i mean this one you can see i'm already using typescript eslint parser and if it is not using typescript eslint parser you need to just uh, copy this and use the typescript eslint parser as your parser okay and after that we have um, our parser options so in the parser options you need to add the path of your typescript uh sorry ts config file so this is the ts config file that we need to actually add here so i just can say project and the path of this is ts config json so that's all once we are done we are done for this part and after that we need to include our eslint rc file in the ts config include so in our ts config if i come here in the include i need to add this eslint file so it is dot eslint rc.cjs in my case and for now i i think i need to actually make it inside of double quotes so that's it for this part i mean we are done uh, configuring our eslint and airbnb so after that we will go to our prettier so for that we need to install these packages so copy that and in your terminal just paste it and it will install prettier eslint config prettier and eslint plugin prettier so these three packages and after that once we are done installing you need to actually extend this thing and this should be the last line of your extent. So 
so in my extends and to make sure that it is the last thing that i'm extending fine i'm actually adding this um right here uh extent it's giving me already error prettier error so it's already working so that's good so after that we need to create a prettier rc file so for that i can use prettier rc cjs so let's create prettier rc dot cjs file and inside the file i can just copy these things and paste these things so here you can add all the prettier uh, related configuration or roles or settings that you want to actually add so right now i'm having these uh, settings that i would like to have in my uh, project like here single quotation true and the semicolon true and tab with two so that's all so now after that uh, if i go to our next step which is the adding the script in our uh, package.json so right now there is no way to uh, get the error from our um, from our project so in our project files i can see there are so many errors so to get those error we can use these two scripts so just copy that so i can see i already have this lint script so i'll replace this whole thing and paste our two new script first one is the lint and after that we have lint fix and that's all and after that we can run these two script so i just can say npm run lint and if i do that you can see we have lots of errors here you can see and to fix all the auto fixable error what you can do is you can run this script lint fix so let's run that npm run lint fix and it will try to fix all the auto fixable error you can see and now it now you can see it is actually um, previously if you remember 61 problems and uh, 45 error and uh, zero warning potentially fixable with the auto fixable options i mean dash dash fix options so these 45 errors is is already actually fixed in our code base and after that we have remaining 16 problems so that's all that's good actually so after that we have uh, some settings for our vs code so if you are using vs code luckily and uh, you need to actually install these two plugins sorry this this two extension the first one is the eslint official extension so if you search for eslint so this is the official extend extension just install that and after that official prettier extension and if you just search for prettier it will give you the prettier extension so just install these two extensions and once you are done installing these two extensions after that you can add these settings in your vs code so you can add these settings in your uh, project directory i mean here also or you can actually add it in your vs code configuration so if i search for settings so in my vs code settings i can actually add those thing here i do not want to add those thing here or what i can do is actually or what i will recommend you to do is that add the settings in your project directory so for that uh, you can actually create a settings.json file inside of a dot yes code folder so i will just get a new file and paste this path here and it will create this folder and the file same time so inside this file i will create a json since it is a json i just need this um, parenthesis and inside this parenthesis i can add my settings so that's all now i'm having my settings once i have my settings after that you will have superpower which means it will use all the so it will use our um ESLint extension and the pretty extension with the settings that we have and after that it will also format the code whenever you save the file and also it will fix all the auto fixable error so that is really nice and after that if i come here in our project file and if i try to save this file you can see the magic here you can see all the auto fixable error is fixed automatically and 
if I try to do some crazy indentation and after that I try to save my file, the PTR will actually format it instantly. So now let's come here in our main TSX and if I try to save this file, you can see all the how to fix all things are fixed. And after that we have this thing unexpected use file extension TSX. So I do not need the TSX here and it will be fine. So that's all you can see. And uh, let's say that uh, if I come here, oh my god, there are too many errors. Let's save that, this file and most of the error is actually gone here and after that I can see some of that is saying that react must be in the scope so these are the things so like uh, you know that react is not necessarily needs to be uh, in the scope nowadays so if you hover any of the error you will see the role name from where the error is coming just copy that and after that go to your ESLIN RC file and here in the roles you can turn it off so I would like to actually turn this off so you can actually pass zero to off so if i come here in the in the file i can see the error is gone and also uh, if you want to actually make it as warning what you can do is you can make it one so instead of zero if i want to make it one now if i come here you can see instead of um, giving us error it is giving us the warning and that's all so if I want to actually make it a uh, one uh, error, I can say two and now it will give me the error. So I want to turn it off. So let's make it zero and it will turn off. And after that, I can see I have another error. It's saying that um, the button should have a type attribute. So this is the. So this is, I think, good to have. So I should have a type attribute in my button. So button for the for this type. So that's good and after that we have another error let's try to fix this one as well so account is already declared in the upper scope yeah that is good actually you cannot uh, you should not actually um, have the same name so what since we are having this count in the upper scope you should not actually name these things so I can just say the value here and it will be the value plus one that's all now you can see how i actually improved my coding style here and it is actually a good thing to do whenever you are writing javascript so before i go i want to give you one more tip here um, if in case uh, if something is not working as you are expected so what you can do is you can actually restart the window i mean restart your vs code so which probably will fix your uh, problem es print and uh, pretty related problem so right now you can see i have this problem uh, i'm saying that uh, single quotation true which means this should be in the single quotation but it is not working right now so this is fine uh, i mean this attribute so jsx attribute should be in the double quotation that is fine but this should be in the single quotation so that is not working so what i will do is i will actually restart my vs code and hopefully this will fix the problem and it will detect the issue and fix it so to restart your vs code you can actually turn off your vs code and uh, restart one more time and or what you can do is you can press ctrl shift p and write reload window and here this reload window and click that and it will restart your vs code and reload the window and and now you can see pdr is actually uh, getting this error and it's saying that it should be replaced with the single quotation as you can see so now if i save my file you can see it is actually getting the error and it is fixing the error by itself so that's a real quick tip for you so that's all i think uh, for this video once again if you are if you want to actually read this blog post i will uh, link it in the description you can just go ahead and read this and set up your es and ptr setup so that's all uh, i guess for this video i hope i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye and khudafis